Johnny Clem was the name of a lad not in his teens when the war between the states had begun. But the name Johnny won with his drum and his gun will live in history. Johnny Shiloh, Johnny Shiloh, that ought to be in Mr. Lincoln's army. Johnny Shiloh. Johnny. Thank you, sir. Before the Blue Raiders are called, I'm gonna be the best drummer boy in Mr. Lincoln's whole army. Well, I'm just sure you are, Johnny. What do you think that is? Oh, I have no idea, but I got a feeling you better hold the men, Gabe. Sound assembly, Johnny. Thank you, Sergeant. Just right. What's your name, Lieutenant? Sullivan, Captain. I'm Captain J.D. McPherson of the 3rd Ohio Volunteers. By order 19061 from the Secretary of War and the Governor of the State of Ohio, I've been ordered to take command of this detachment. <laughs> Rest, men. Your orders are as follows. You're moving tonight to Camp Denison for a short period of training before going to the front. Yowie! Go home, finish any unattended affairs, and report to the courthouse at 9 p.m. Lieutenant, do you have a mount? Yes, sir. Then I suggest you ride into town with me. Right, sir. Platoon, 10 hut! Dismissed! Yeah! Yeah, it looks that way, Johnny. I thought we'd never be called. Seriously. Hey, Josh. Johnny, come on. Let's go. Come on. I'm ready, sir. Who's the lad, Lieutenant? John Lincoln Clem, sir. His his given name is John Joseph, but he changed the Joseph to Lincoln when the war came out of respect for the president. He isn't the drummer boy with a platoon, is he? No, sir, but uh, he sure wants to be. Oh, he's much too young. Yeah, I know, sir. Uh, well, he's an honorary member, sort of a mascot. He drills with the men every day. Well, I admire that sort of spirit. But you shouldn't encourage the lad, Lieutenant. Well, sir, there's no way to discourage him. Mrs. Jackson. Have you heard? Hello, Mrs. Jackson. How are you, Johnny? We're leaving. Who is? 
The Blue Raiders. We've been called. Called? We're leaving tonight. I've got to get home to Tom. Get out. Goodbye, Mrs. Jackson. <laughs> She didn't seem too happy. You know, Mrs. Jackson's husband will have to go to war. She should be proud. A person can be proud and unhappy, son. I don't see how. You will someday. Well, Johnny boy, I guess you're going to be losing a lot of your friends. Nobody I care anything about, except you. Johnny. Surely you don't think you're going, too. Sure I am. Oh, no, son. You're a boy. You're not old enough to join the Blue Raiders. But I drove with them and marched with them. I know, but I guess they were just sort of letting you play soldier with them for a while. You mean, you think they never meant to take me with them? Of course not. Now, you run along, Johnny. I have some customers to take care of. You'd be glad getting rid of us. <laughs> oh, well, here's our little mascot. Hello, Johnny. I don't think we're going to be gone long. I don't think so either, Gabe. <laughs> Those Reds will drive you back home in no time at all. <laughs> they will not. You tell them, Johnny, or we'll run them Rebs so ragged their tongues will hang out. From chasing you. <laughs> the Blue Raiders will never retreat. Oh, son, I'm just funning with you. <laughs> well, I don't like to hear that kind of talk about the Blue Raider. <laughs> what next, Gabe? That's about all of it, Josh. Thank you. I'll see you later. I'll see you down at the depot, Johnny. But don't forget to bring along your drum. I won't. Come on, Pop. Let's go. All right, son. <laughs> I know, son, if you were along, None of them would run. No siree. <laughs> what in tarnation are you doing, Gabe? Closing up. Where are you going? Boy, you can't go to war. Why not? Hey, you want to hold that end, please? I, I got a broken axle on my wagon. I and my plow needs fixing. I guess you're gonna have to get somebody else to do that for you, Walter. Excuse me. Well, when are you leaving? Tonight. Can't you wait a couple of days and do my fixing first? Afraid not. Well, how am I gonna plow my fields? Uh, I got no idea. Well, that's the darndest thing I ever heard. Yeah, I'm sorry, Walter. Plain foolishness. Why, why, I don't know, even know what they're fighting about. To save the Union, Mr. Matthews. Boy, nobody's going to save this country except the farmers. Okay. My pa says I can't go with the platoon. Well, that's about right, Jane. But I got to go, Gabe. Give me. Mm -hmm. Now, listen, you know. You got all kinds of soldiers in the war, and there's some of them that, that uh, get to go out and do the fighting, and then there's some of them that got to stay home, too. See? I don't believe that. No, that's true. It's, uh, well, uh, for instance, there's going to be a lot of people uh, needing help on their farm, like Mr. Matthews there. Uh, there's a lot of them, anyway. But that won't help to save Mr. Lincoln, Jr. Well, yes, it will. Uh, you can help just as much by staying home and, and uh, helping to build something as just going out and destroying things. Then why are you going, Gabe? Well, uh, I think well, I'm doing what I think i got to do, that's all. But why can't I go? Well, let me make it plain to you, Johnny. For one thing, you never have been mustered, so you ain't really a member of the Blue Raiders at all. Well, how can I get mustered? Why don't you go ask Jeremiah about that, huh? 
That's what I'll do. Because I want to go where I can help the most. Why he's inside with the captain? I gotta see him. Oh, you can. Well, hello, Johnny. What are you doing here? I gotta talk to you, Jer. Well, talk fast, lad. I got a lot to do. Gabe said I'm not a member of the platoon, so I can't go with you. <sighs> well, I never said you could. But I can drum as good as Frankie. Johnny, you're too young. Oh, Jer, if I can't go, I'll just die. Well, it's not up to me. Is it up to the captain? Now, listen, don't you go bothering the captain. What you need, young fella, is your father's permission. If I get him to say yes, can I go? Well, um, that'll be up to the captain. No, son. Please let me join, Pa. I sure admire you wanting to go. But you're too young. I told you so before. But, Pa, they need me. Mr. Lincoln needs every man he can get. They wouldn't take you, son. And even if they would, I couldn't let you go. Why not? Well... When your mother died, I promised her I'd always take care of you. And if I let you go off to war, I'd be breaking that promise. Isn't helping to save the Union more important than a promise? I know how you feel, Johnny. But I need you here. Please, Pa. That's final. You'll have to stay here with me. All right, Pa. Thank you, son. Can I go see the Blue Raiders off tonight? Sure, sure you can. officers, and our brave Blue Raiders. I know as mayor, I speak for all of you, and I say to our heroes who are marching away to war, that our best wishes and our prayers for a quick victory and a speedy return go with you. God bless you. Bye, Johnny. Bye, Gabe. You, uh, you gotta take care of everything around here for me. You can be sure and write to me, too, you hear? Sergeant! Yes, sir. Fall in the men. It's time we left for the depot. Yes, sir. Sound assembly for us, son. Come on. Bye, Johnny. Bye, Jer. Johnny, I, I sure wish you were going along. Uh, all right, and I'll tell you all about it. Ready, cut! All present and accounted for, sir. Platoon! Forward! March! Sir. Yes? I gotta go with the Raiders. Well, that's not likely. We're taking men, not boys. Oh, please, sir. 
You just be a good lad and go home, son. For all the men on board? Yes, sir. Conductor, start the train. All aboard! I'm sorry, Johnny. I'll bring you a rev drum, huh? You quit trying to go on home, Johnny. Go on. Go on. Morning, sir. Didn't I tell you that you weren't to come with us? I couldn't help myself, sir. Does your father know about this? No, sir. When he finds out, he'll skin you alive. Yes, sir. Lieutenant, what are you going to do with him? Me? Well, I... <laughs> I don't know, sir. Please let me go with you, sir. Well, I don't see that I have any choice. I can't turn the train around, and I can't throw you off. Oh, I'd like to. Thank you, sir. Lieutenant, you can write to the boy's father from Camp Denison. Oh, but in the meantime, show him what it means to be a real soldier. Yes, sir. Sergeant, you started all this. Me? You gave him the drum. Now you take care of it. Yes, sir. I hoped you would be glad to see me. I'd be glad to heat up the seat of your pants so you don't cool off for a week. That's what. I'm sorry, Gabe. Well, you're going to be a lot sorry before this is all over. You soldier, don't you near left me right? Golly, Gabe. Sergeant. Sergeant, I thought I was going to be a drummer boy. You must have been a drummer boy. No, sir. You want to be a regular or you want to get out of camp? I want to be a soldier, sir. Right, pace. Rest. Hey, hup. thing a soldier learns, keep his rifle clean. Yes, sir. Get back in ranks. Put a pop! <laughs> mean you haven't finished that detail yet, soldier? Sir. Clean your rifle? Yes, sir. All right, empty the rest of that swell. Report your platoon and full marching equipment. On the double. Yes, sir. Sergeant, sir? Aren't you being extra hard on me, sir? Well, nobody.
but he's making his stage, Johnny. Oh, I know, sir. You ready to quit now? No, sir. All right, soldier. All right, fall in! Fall in! Fourth file! Ready! about enough for today. No, sir. Carry a rifle, Clem. No, sir. Two, head, hut, foot, hut. Come on, boy, sound off. Johnny. Hey, Johnny, Johnny, come on. Come on, son. No, he's dog tired. Poor little fella. No, I better pick him up and put him in a bed. No, on, no. Treat him just like you would a soldier. No, Jerry, I can't get any meaner to him. Sergeant, that's an order. Good night, Gabe. Yes, sir. Clem! Private Clem! Mess has been over for hours. <sighs> I guess I'll go to bed. Uh. Not yet. Come with me. But it's still night time. Yes, sir. On a double. Uh, don't fall asleep there, soldier. Of course not, Sergeant. Just remember what the good book says. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Oh! 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 oh. <clears throat> What's the matter? Boy, it's freezing. Why, that's good for you. Good for you. I don't mind you working me to death all day, but you have to try and draw me at nighttime, sir. Oh! Oh, Gabe. Oh, it's freezing. There you are. March of plays! Tune! Sure wish I could do something kind of nice for him before he leaves. Like what? Well, I thought maybe we could uh, get his get his picture taken in uniform so he can recall his army days. You think that's a good idea? He earned it, Jer. Yeah, I guess you're right. Attention! Present! Harm! Carry on, Sergeant. Yes, sir. This, miss. Oh, help! some more. All right, ready now, boys? Ready? All right, go. Gee, Gabe, huh? I don't know how to thank you. Uh, no need to thank me, Johnny. You know, for a while there, I thought you was mad at me. Well, it must have been your imagination. All right, thank you, men, thank you. All right, son, it's your turn next. Come on, Gabe, 
Go ahead, Johnny. No, I ain't going with you. Go it's on. It's no worse than on. having a tooth pulled. Go on in there. Put your coat down back. Stand right there, son. And don't move. Stand up straight and be a big soldier. If you don't mind, sir, I'd like to have it at bayonet charge. All right, lad. Ready? Yes, sir. Go. Hold it. Lord, dear. When you're finished here, the captain wants to see Johnny. Oh. I said hold it. Hold it. Good. Thank you, son. When will my picture be ready, sir? Sometime this afternoon. Thank you, Mr. Brady. Yep, come on. Come on, Johnny. Johnny! John Clem reporting, sir. Rest. Hello, Johnny. Hello, Pa. Your father's here to take you home, lad. You can't, Pa. I won't go. No, please, son. But don't you see, Pa? I'm a soldier now. I can't leave. But Johnny... And even if you make me go, I won't stay. I'll run away. Don't you see, Pa? I belong in Mr. Lincoln's army. You tell him, Captain McPherson. Johnny, come here. Sit down. Now, you're not a member of the army, lad. But I did everything Gabe told me to, sir. I'm sorry, but you've got to go home. But, Captain... Dismissed. I... Yes, sir. I'll send back my uniform, sir. There's no need. It uh, wouldn't fit any other soldier. Captain McPherson? I want you to know that it was an honor to serve under you, sir. Thank you, Johnny. What in the name of all the do you think you're doing here? Drummer boy Clem reporting for duty, sir. No matter, box your ears. Listen, you know Gabe! That? Come here, Ow! you blow like the captain. Ow! Shut up! Shut up! Huh. Dismiss! Get out of here!
this is ridiculous. I've known a man deserting the army to get home, but I've never known of anyone deserting home to get in the army. With all due respect, sir, I'm not going home. I don't see where you've got any choice, Johnny. Yes, I do, sir. I'll go with the Indiana Regiment down the road, sir. Well, they won't take you. Yes, they will. I asked on the way up here. Oh, you did. I ought to give you a good thrashing, you know that? Sergeant, that won't solve a thing. Oh, it might make me feel a little better. Captain, I wish that... Son, I'm sorry. I can't assume the responsibility for taking you with us. Now, if you want to go with the Indiana Regiment, that's entirely up to you. Yes, sir. Goodbye, Gabe. Mm. Goodbye, Jim. Wait, wait just a minute. Go on up. Wait outside there. Go on. You mind if I make a, a suggestion? Listen, if you've got a suggestion to make, you go right ahead and make it. Well, first, what are we going to do if his father don't show up before we got to leave? Look, Sergeant, I feel as badly about this as you do. Now, he's going to join that Indiana regiment. He'll do it. Gabe, I can't take him into battle. He's just a little boy. Well, he's more than a little boy to me. He's more like, uh, like, he was, like he's my own kid. I watched him grow up every day of his life. Sergeant, just what are you trying to say? Well, I'm trying to say that uh, strangers, uh, he goes over there, strangers ain't gonna look after him so good as, as we could. So, uh, can we just keep him? Hmm. Gabe, would you be willing to take care of him? Oh. Oh, well, I am... I am willing to try. Huh? All right. All right, get the boy a regulation drum. Yowie! You get... Get out of here! Oh! I want to show you something. Oh, Gabe. Get out of there. Come on now. Get up out of there. All right. Come on. Now look, son. Right there. That's where we're heading. Thunderation. Sure is something to make a soldier proud of. That's just the Army of the Cumberland, son. You mean that's not the whole Grand Army? It's just one of several of them. Now, right over on the other side of that mountain, that's where the Confederate armies are camped. They're just sitting there getting ready to attack us. After seeing our army, I feel sorry for them. <laughs> well, don't you do that, because they got us outnumbered good. And if General Buell don't get here in time, they're just liable to chase us clean back to Newark. Company! I can't wait to move into the front lines. Neither can I. I'll bet when the Rebs hear us roll the long roll, they'll run like jackrabbits. 
Don't be too sure. They roll the long roll at Bull Run. Johnny, come along with me, son. Sure. Come on. Where are we going? Don't ask them any questions. You'll find out. Come on. Hey, wait for me. Church somehow doesn't seem to belong in the middle of all this. Well, that's God's doing, Johnny. I guess he's got his reasons for wanting to have his house here. It's a pretty good time for us to say a couple of prayers. sisters, they're having an awful hard time at home, and take care of Mr. Lincoln's soldiers, wherever they are, and if you have time, would you get General Buell here in a hurry? What's the name of this place, Gabe? Shiloh. The name of the place is Shiloh. Assembly. Johnny, get them horses out of there. What's the matter with you? Keep that long roll going. Yes, sir. What's your name, son? John Clem, sir. Aren't you frightened? Yes, sir, aren't you? I guess everybody is, son. Which general are you, sir? General Thomas, boy. I may be scared, General, but I'm not going to run, sir. You're not, eh? Well, neither am I. We'll make it. We sure will, sir. You be careful, boy. This army can't afford to lose men like you. Yes, General, sir. Lieutenant. Deploy your batteries in close support and commence firing. Advance and engage the enemy, Captain. Press your attack and give them no quarter. Yes, sir. Charge!
Johnny! Son? Yes, sir. You hear that, man? Johnny. Johnny Shiloh here won't run any further. And neither will I. You gonna leave us here to fight him alone? Fight! over for tonight, son. Jeremiah. He was right by me when he got... Jer was killed. We carried him back with us. Did we win? No, oh, they licked us pretty bad. But old Blood and Whiskers will get him tomorrow. Who? Grant. I didn't run, Gabe. I know that, Johnny. I wanted to, but I was too scared. You kept drumming, didn't you? I had to. My hands were so nervous I could make them stop.
escape. On, men! Forward to the firing line! Excuse me, sir. Colonel? Are you all right, sir? Well as can be expected. I'm sorry. About shooting, I mean. Oh, so you're the boy who shot me, huh? Yes, sir. Well, as a soldier, you were just doing your duty. Thank you, sir. I didn't want to shoot you, but you were after my buddy Gabe. We're at war, son. I know, sir. I'm grateful you're not a better shot. What will they do with you now? Oh, send me up north, I suppose, to one of them prisoner of war camps. Unless, of course, I can escape. Would you really try to escape? Any soldier worth his salt tries to escape when he's captured. But you're going to lose the war, sir. We won the battle today. We didn't retreat. We were just battling back to Chattanooga to get a fresh start. Oh. Well, thank you for coming by to see me, boy. Night, sir. Colonel? Yes, boy? I hope I'm not the Yank that catches you trying to escape, sir. uniform on now. The general wants to see you. Uh-huh. The general? Yep. What did I do wrong? Got no idea. You suppose he's mad because I shot that colonel? Don't be silly now. Come on. Well, I don't know, Gabe. Officers stick pretty close together. Will you just quit trying out, think the general, and hurry up before I grab you by the scruff of the neck and drag you? Yes, sir. Come on. Sergeant Trotter reporting to General Thomas. Former boy Clem reporting. I'll tell the general. Hey, Gabe. Hmm? What do you think our chances are of breaking out of Chattanooga? I don't know, Johnny. But we can starve before old Pap Thomas will surrender. Get that collar down the back. Come on. Hut in, hut. Rest. Are these the men, General? Yes, sir. Uh, excuse me, General Grant, sir. Yes, Meyer? I'm sorry, sir. About what? Whatever it was I did wrong, sir. Son, you happen to be here because of something you did right. 
Oh, yes, sir. Sergeant Trotter, step forward. On the recommendation of your commanding officer, General Thomas, for bravery in the field under enemy fire, you are promoted to the rank of second lieutenant and attached to General Thomas' staff as a scout. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Thank you, sir. John Lincoln Clem, step forward. Helping to save the life of your sergeant at the risk of your own. You are promoted to the rank of sergeant. Attached to General Thomas's staff as a messenger. Congratulations, sergeant. Thank you, sir. Something wrong, son? Speak up, sergeant. Well, is that all you're going to make me, sir? <laughs> <laughs> Did you expect to be made a general, boy? Oh, no, not yet, sir. <laughs> but I sure would like to be in the Army if it's not too much trouble, sir. You mean you've never been sworn into the regular Army? Oh, no, sir. Raise your right hand, Johnny. John Lincoln Clem. Do you swear your allegiance to the United States of America? Yes, sir. You are then duly mustered into the Union Army with the rank of sergeant. Thank you, sir. And I promise I'll never let you down, sir. Uh, just one piece of advice, son. Don't get in the habit of shooting officers. Oh, no, sir. Dismissed. Well, gentlemen, we better be... Sergeant. <laughs> What's taking you so long, Gabe? Now, wait a minute. I'm a blacksmith, not a seamstress. That's good. Ow! See what you made me do? Now, that's good enough for you here. Boy, you sure in a bad mood today. Well, what's there to be so happy about? Reb's got Chattanooga surrounded. Here we are, sitting in the middle of it. Grant and Thomas will get us out of this mess. Don't you be so sure about that. How do I look? Like a small sergeant. Oh, gee. Johnny Shiloh. Will you handle this for us, Lieutenant? I thought you. All right. Uh, Johnny, uh, Sergeant. The men out of your old outfit, the Blue Raiders, uh, sing awful, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> they want to. They want you to know they're real proud of you and that they're uh, they're all gonna miss you. And they got this for you. It's a. Uh, it's a... Uh, here, that's for you. Go on. Open it up, Johnny. Look inside. Open it? Yeah, come on, Johnny. A gold watch. Speech. Give us a speech, Johnny. Yeah, Give us a speech. speech, Johnny. I never had a watch before. Look inside the case. Read it to us. Come on, you forget how to read or something? Johnny Shiloh. From the Blue Raiders. But he's a jolly good fellow. But he's a jolly good fellow. But he's a jolly good fellow. Lieutenant Trotter? Yeah. General Thomas wants you and Sergeant Clem to report at once, sir. Thanks, soldier. Go on. Come on, John. Button up. Thank you. Go on. But he's a jolly good fellow. But he's a jolly good fellow. But he's a jolly good fellow. Lieutenant Trotter and Sergeant Clem reporting, sir. Rest. Get 
horses for these men. Yes, sir. Captain. Yes, sir. Ride back to General Granger and tell him to probe the weakest point in the Confederate line on his left, as if he were going to attack. Then withdraw and stand firm until I receive further orders from General Grant. Dismissed. Lieutenant. Sure. Do you know where General Steedman's headquarters are? Yes, sir. Sergeant? Yes, sir. I want you to ride with the lieutenant and deliver a message to General Steedman. It's important that you get through. So if you're attacked by enemy patrols or pickets, the lieutenant will stand and fight, but you keep riding. That's an order. Yes, sir. Now listen carefully. Yes, sir. Because of our position, this message can't be written down, so you've got to remember it word for word. Yes, sir. Now repeat this after me. Tell General Steedman that I'm going to lead my troops up the center tonight. General Thomas is going to lead his troops up to the center tonight. Hut in, hut. Carry on, men. You sure you can remember all that? Yes, sir. The reason I'm sending you is I believe with your devotion to duty, you have the best chance of getting through. We'll get through, sir. If you're captured, give the enemy no information other than your name and rank. Yes, sir. Remember, Lieutenant, it's your job to see the message gets through regardless of the risk to you. Yes, sir. Good luck, men. Thank you, sir. What are you going to name him, John? Uh, think the president would mind if I call him Mr. Lincoln? Uh, I guess the president's got more important things to think about than that. Come on, Mr. Lincoln. Is it really true they, they sneaked out General Grant last night? We're all getting ready to surrender? Where'd you hear that, soldier? That's what a fella told me this morning. You must have been talking to a reb. What do you mean by that, sir? You know who you got over here on your right flank, soldier? Who, sir? Old Pap Thomas, the Rock of Chickamauga, that's who. We might all die here, but we ain't gonna surrender as long as he's in command. I've got to get General Steeman's reply back to old Pap Thomas. Ready, Gabe? Lieutenant. Oh, Lieutenant. You remember all the message, Sergeant? Sure I do, Gabe. Lieutenant! Oh, Lieutenant, sir. Sergeant? <laughs> let me go! Look at the prize we captured, Captain. You put me down, you big ox! Put him down. Why, you little wildcat, you... Put him you... down! <laughs> Don't hurt that boy. I'm a sergeant, sir. Then conduct yourself like a sergeant. Yes, sir. 
Put him up behind me. Sergeant, Captain? Sure is. <laughs> Say, Sarge, are all the privates shorter than you? Them Yankees sure must be scraping the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> Why are they sending new babies up here to fight us, Yank? Reckon their men are scared to come. <laughs> Trooper, this soldier is my prisoner. I found no reason to doubt his courage. Yes, sir. Is the general in? He's eating, and I'm sure he don't want to be bothered. I can hear you all the way in here, Stark. Come in and stop wasting time. I guess you've heard of fighting Joe Wheeler. Yes, sir. Then mind your manners when you meet him, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Captain! How long are you going to keep me waiting? Stark, let's get one thing straight. When you want to see me, come in and talk to me. Never mind this upon the general's permit. Yes, sir. What's that? Prize of war, sir. A Yankee sergeant. Is this some kind of joke, Captain? No, sir. I lost a man from my patrol and taken him. Oh. What's your name, son? Sergeant John Lincoln Clem, sir. Young man, don't you know it's dangerous to ride around the countryside playing soldier? I wasn't playing, sir. You should be in school with other children your age. But I'm a regular, sir. A regular? Yes, sir. What's your outfit, son? The Blue Raider, sir. You mean you're their mascot? No, sir. I don't believe you, son. I've been in battle, sir. Where? Shiloh, Perryville, Stones River, Chickamauga. Shiloh was over a year ago. I can prove it, sir. Johnny Shiloh from the Blue Raiders. Are you the drummer boy of Shiloh? Yes, sir. Orderly. Sit down. Sergeant, how many troops do we have under siege outside Chattanooga? Excuse me, sir, but as a prisoner, I only have to give you my name and rank, sir. I guess you are a regular soldier after all. Thank you, sir. Help yourself. I'll keep this until we decide what to do with you. But, sir. Oh, it's better that way. Soldiers on both sides have a bad habit of collecting souvenirs. This way, you're sure of getting the watch back. Private Jones reporting, sir. Private, this is Johnny Clem, a sergeant in the Union Army and our prisoner. I place him under your care. Yes, sir. Now, Sergeant, remember you're a prisoner of war. Because of your age, you'll be treated like every other soldier in camp while you're here. But I must warn you, don't try to escape. Before you're sent to a prisoner of war camp, remember to come by and pick up your watch. Dismissed. Sergeant. Good luck. Thank you, sir. What do you keep staring at me for? Because I ain't never seen a Yankee this close before. Well, take a good look. You must be a pretty dumb soldier. Why? Letting yourself get caught. I'd let the Yankees kill me before I let them catch me and put me in any old prison. Would you quit pointing that rifle at me? It might go off. Any more funny moves from you, and it just might. Do you hate me? I don't like no Yankee. My best friend was caught by you Yanks. Yeah, well, my best friend was just killed by your cavalry. Come on, you got chores to do. <laughs> Sure's a good look 
freaking horse. All southern horses are good. Which is about the fastest horse here? <laughs> Don't go getting no ideas, Yank. About what? About what? Escaping. You heard plain enough what the general said. Can I have a rest now? Sure. I had a swole horse before I got caught. What happened to him? We got separated. What was he called? Uh, you just get mad if I told you. Why don't you try me? Uh, let's just say I didn't call him Jefferson Davis. Lincoln? Mr. Lincoln. I sure don't know what you Yankee see in him. He's trying to save the Union, Reb. The only man that could save this country is Jeff Davis. He isn't gonna get the chance. Jeff Davis is running the whole Confederacy. And that's why you're gonna lose. Tell that to them three armies we got trapped in Chattanooga. They'll break out all right. Sure, with a white flag in their hands. Get back to work. What you can't say is your food's better than ours. Well, I can say that being a prisoner is a lot harder work than being a soldier. You sure didn't think you were a guest in this camp. Well, if I did, you sure changed my mind for me. You know who that is? Looks like some general to me. Some general? That's General Longstreet and his staff. So what? General Longstreet has about the best cavalry in the whole army. We've been waiting for him. Where are they coming from? Virginia. Sent by the greatest general of them all, Robert E. Lee. Wait till he meets old blood and whiskers. Who? General Ulysses S. Grant. <laughs> the only time Grant will meet General Longstreet is when he's ready to give up his sword. I hate to crow, Yank, but now we're ready to move on Chattanooga. Well, good night, Reb. Good night, Yank. You must be a pretty dumb soldier. Any soldier worth his salt tries to escape when he's captured. Tries to escape when he's captured. Escape, escape, escape. Yank! Where are you going? I was just taking a walk. Want to take a walk? Walk right back to your tent. Everybody told me no Yankee could be trusted. Now I believe them. A southern colonel told me that any soldier worth his salt tries to escape. Well, I'm going to make sure you don't try again. Now get into that tent and give me your clothes. What? Get. What? You heard me, Yankee. Give me your shoes. Your shirt and your pants, too. Hey, Yankee, can I come in? Sure. 
morning. Boy, am I mad. What's the matter? I never thought a southern soldier would stoop to such a low-down Yankee trick. Like what? Last night, I dozed off for a bit. And somebody played a trick on you? They sure did. Soldiers are always playing tricks. What was it? They swiped your clothes. What? Wouldn't that make you mad? It sure does. I've been looking all over the place for them. What am I going to do now? I'll look and see if I can find some others. I want my old uniform back. Well, then go find it yourself. All right, I will. I can't go out there like this. Take your choice. Boy. Sorry, Yank. <laughs> what are you laughing at? You sure are a dumb guard. Yeah, <laughs> guess I am. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, if the general ever catches you with that razor, he's gonna strap you good. First chance I ever had to shave, and I'm gonna take it. Watch that door, will you? Attention! The general! Quick, get that stuff off your face! Perhaps later in the day. You boys are dismissed. Orderly. Yes, sir. Have you been using this razor? Uh, yes, sir. What for? Excuse me, sir. But he needed a shave awful bad, sir. See. Aren't you Johnny Shiloh? Yes, sir. What are you doing in that uniform? Well, excuse me for saying so, sir. But some ornery crook in your outfit stole my uniform. I'm sorry. Who was guarding it? I was, sir. But it wasn't his fault, sir. Well, you can be grateful that I was guarding your watch. Keeps good time, too. Thank you, sir. Dismissed. Orderly. Yes, sir. Here, return it when you're finished. Yes, sir. Here. Thanks. Boy. Ain't much, but they're the best I could do. Where have you been so long? Went to mail call. Got a letter. You sure left me alone a long time. I figured you weren't going nowhere in that get up. Yeah, I guess not. How do they feel? I gotta take two steps to move one foot. <laughs> At least he ain't tight. Who's the letter from? Home. You want to read it? Nah, it's your letter. Yep, yeah, but... This way, it might make you feel like you got one, too. Ain't much of a letter. Guess with all the men gone, there ain't much to write about. <laughs> Something wrong? Did you read the whole letter, Billy? I don't know how to read, Yank. It's from your mother. Dear son, I hope this letter finds you in good health. Everything here is about the same as when I last wrote you. We all pray to the Almighty that the war will soon be over and the men will be coming home to their loved ones. We just got word about Tommy Delman. That's my best friend. 
Tommy passed away in a prison camp up north, and the Yankees are shipping his body home. Tommy? Are you sure? That's what the letter says, Billy. Take good care of yourself, son, and... No. Don't read no more now. I'm sorry, Billy. Johnny, would you please go to your tent for a bit? I, got, I gotta be alone. Sure, Billy. singing us one of your songs. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, come on, Yank. Give us a song. Yeah, let's hear one. Hey, fellas, I got an idea. Let's all sing a song for the Yankee. All right. You pick it. Yeah, I know. When Johnny comes marching home again, hurrah, hurrah, when Johnny comes marching home again, All right, man, break it up. The fun's over. Hurrah. What is it, Sarge? Get your gear packed. Move. What's going on, Sarge? We're moving up to Chattanooga in the morning. Yeah! Billy. Bye, little Yankee. Lots of luck. Thanks. Yes, sir. Billy, have the Yankee. Yes, sir. Does he have to, Sarge? There's nothing I can do about it, Billy. What'd he say? You gotta get your gear packed, too. I got nothing to pack. I know. What do you suppose I'll do with me? Send you south, I reckon. To a prison? You're a prisoner, ain't you? Like your friend Tommy? You scared? I wish you didn't have to go. the stories you hear, Drew? Like what? That they beat you, and feed you a lot of slop, and keep you in dirty old cells with a bunch of rats. Maybe it's not as bad in southern prisons. Maybe it's worse. I'm sorry. Well, I guess I better get to bed. Johnny, you gotta promise me something. You won't die, too. I'll sure try not to. And write me. Maybe I can help. Goodbye, Johnny. Goodbye, Billy. Good luck. Thanks. Must be a pretty dumb soldier. 
Any soldier worth his salt tries to escape when he's captured. You must be a pretty dumb soldier. Any soldier worth his salt tries to escape. 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 Back to your tent. Billy, I'd rather die than go in one of them prisons. I can't let you get away, Yank. coming through our lines. Claims he's a Union sergeant, a messenger for General Thomas. Hi, Sam. That ain't no rep. That's Johnny Shiloh. Hey, the general's been real worried about you. Yeah? How'd you get away from those reps? I just sort of snuck away. We knew Longstreet had left Virginia, but we didn't know exactly where he was headed. Sir, may I venture an opinion? Of course. This move of Longstreet's means that Lee... Exactly. Lee hoped they could defeat us here at Chattanooga. Then have Longstreet, Wheeler, and Hood join him and attack Gettysburg. Now, Captain Paul reporting, sir. Send him in. If Longstreet and Wheeler should mount their offensive at this point. Message from General Hooker, sir. What is it, Captain? General Hooker and General Smith have managed to join forces and break the encirclement. Good. General Smith is holding, sir. General Hooker is advancing on the enemy. 
Advise General Hooker to advance until further orders, Captain. Yes, sir. Thank you, Sergeant. You've done a good job. Yes, sir. Dismissed. <laughs> Gentlemen, this army, too, will engage the enemy. Jane! Look out. Look out. Hello, Johnny. I thought you were dead. Nah, I'd take more than a red bullet to kill me. Let me look at you. Sure, it's good to see you. Never mind that. I had a tan your hide good. You know that? What for? Because I thought you was dead and I felt awful. Oh, I'm sorry. I never thought you'd run off and join the Rebs, though. Well, I didn't, honest. Then what are you doing that ragtag outfit, huh? huh? Johnny Shiloh! Johnny! Hey, Johnny! Hey, Johnny! How'd you get away? <laughs> Here, Johnny. I came for you while he was away. Who's in front? Some ladies in Chicago. They seen your picture in the paper. Uh, a brand new uniform. A cap. Some socks. A jacket. Oh, some new shoes, too. Yeah, that's what the letter said. Oh, I opened it, because uh, for a while there, we thought maybe we might never see you again, and uh, I thought somebody ought to better write back and thank him. Gabe? Mm -hmm. I'm glad we're going home on leave. You are? How come? So we don't have to fight those soldiers over there? How they treat you, Johnny? All right, I guess. What are they like in their own camp? No different than us. About what I figured. Want me to throw these old things away? No, Gabe. It was given to me by a friend of mine. Come on, Sergeant. How long are you going to mess around in there? I'm coming. Well, don't you look pretty now. Ah, okay. Gabe. Lieutenant. Yes, sir. That a friend of yours over there? Mr. Lincoln! He got back to camp all by himself. Just proves he's smarter than I am. <laughs> sure does. Johnny Shiloh, Johnny Shiloh, ran off to be in Mr. Lincoln's army. Johnny Shiloh, Johnny Shiloh, the youngest, bravest Yankee drummer boy.